Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and you are in the uh, fundamental of cybersecurity and uh, we are working on DNS. We have seen so many things in DNS. In this last session of DNS, let's understand how exactly this DNS works, all right? So in general, what happened? The question is how does or how DNS works? The question is this, how DNS works. I try my best to give you all information, but somehow if I if I'm not uh, confident to give all these uh, information, then uh, please tell me in the comment section, how do you like it? And uh, if something left, then I can cover it up, all right? So what will happen? Uh, so the thing is, let's say there is a computer and I'm gonna draw with another color just to separate things. So this is a computer, you see, uh, nice printed computer having an IP address of 192.168.1.1. This is an IP address. And he is querying something. So he is querying for, let's say, www.google.com. So this is the thing that he is querying for. Remember the dot for root domain. I hope you you, you remember this, right? So there is a dot in the in the in the end of this dot com. So this is for root domain. So what will happen? This request is going to be forwarded to something called as your ISP provider. It is going to be here. This is your ISP. And my drawing is static or what? This is your ISP, Internet Service Provider, which gives you the IP address and all, the services and all, right? So he will look in his, in his cache. Look inside the cache. Why in the cache? Because earlier if you had searched for www.google.com, the IP address is still inside this ISP only in the cache, right? Then he will directly connect to you to the server directly, okay? But if it is not there in the cache, if uh, some time, you know, gone and the uh, cache has been deleted, then the uh, mapping is not there in the cache, then definitely this ISP has to, uh, he will forward this request to the, to the other servers like in the DNS, okay? So, uh, he will forward this ISP, if this is a new request, remember, I'm, I'm writing here, this is a new uh, server, this is a new server, right? This is a new, uh, sorry, new, what, new request, sorry, I'm writing new server. <laughs> this is a new request, not as, the, not as they are in the, in the ISP, right? So this ISP going to forward this request to something called as root server, because you had, because there is an appendant of uh, that dot uh, com, so you will forward it to the root server. Uh, so you remember that there are only 16 to 13, I think, root servers in the uh, in the whole world. So the, it will connect to the root server. So uh, I'll write this is the first step, and uh, uh, this uh, could be the second step. And then root server will say that please connect to the TLD, okay, of this dot com. Now this is the third step. Please connect to the top level domain. It will it will tell the ISP that where exactly this top level domain is so then isp will will call the tld after the after granting a permission from the root server so now he will connect to the tlds this is top level domain server remember these are servers okay so these are top level domain server so as it is dot com so this is connect to the dot com server okay top top level domain server of dot com so this is going to be third so now top level domain server will say that I do not have the IP address, but I will tell you that what exactly is the name server of this dot com. Okay, so he will he will tell the ISP to connect to a name server known as what I am drawing here is an arrow, but it doesn't look like an arrow. Uh, oh, come on, man. Yeah, maybe this is the, uh, so this ISP gonna connect to you something called as name server. Here, name server for what? Google.com as this is an authoritative server. Remember, this will tell you the actual, uh, you know, IP address or the, it knows the server address. So this is an authoritative server of, of what? Google. Okay, uh, so you had searched for Google. So now uh, this is going to be a fourth you had requested and uh, relevant responses this name server will gonna give you with a fifth part so this is a fifth it's a response of ip of google 
google.com because this name server specifically know the ip address of google.com and now your isp know the ip address of google.com so he will call the uh, request with a six to the google server and he will ask here the google server that there is a request coming from a user google.com sorry this is a google server the google server will connect with a six and it will directly google server will directly now respond to this person with a seventh option and now in the in his computer he can see the google.com page google page the first page google page like this by google like this you can see the google page here now so in that way the complete process of dns works and how it is connected with the things in this manner so uh, this is a step by step process and i hope you like it if you like it please hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you are new uh, and please uh, share this video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i am ready to help all right so thank you so much guys for listening to me and i'll see you in the next session